went on a normal shift. It got to quarter to 11 and two young lads entered the store. They were on the alcohol aisle. So I approached them and asked them if they had any ID. So as I turned round, one of the young lads was leaving the shop with a large handbag and I could hear rattling in this handbag and said to him, whatever you've got in your bag, would you like to give it to me? He picked up the bag and he swung the bag and hit me in the side of the face. He ran away, I went back into the store and I phoned the police. It had a big impact, I felt vulnerable. I wouldn't be able to work late nights. My partner, he was quite upset. I was angry, he, he assaulted me. I was very nervous leading up to meeting the offender. I didn't know what to expect. After hearing his side and how he felt and the fact that he didn't realise that it actually assaulted me, he was just in a panic to leave the shop. After I looked at the bigger picture, I did see things differently and I didn't feel like a victim anymore. He said that he'd changed his, his life, he'd moved away from the group of people that he was hanging around with. He'd started a bricklaying course, he told us that he'd attended victim awareness and he'd also done some unpaid work. As he was leaving, he got up to shake mine and my colleague's hand and he apologised. It just felt right to give him a hug. I did feel like that was part of the closure process and an acceptance that we accepted his apology as well. Taking part in restorative justice, it does give you that sense of em empowerment having that chance to let the person know what harm they've caused you and having the sense of closure and being able to put, put the incident behind you and move forward.